everyone! I hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to share a little collective haul with you. I ordered some stuff from MAC online and I have an order in from Tarte Cosmetics and I bought a couple of things at Ulta. So I guess I'll start with the stuff from Ulta first because I only got two things there. Um, the first one was more of like a necessity. Actually, they sent me an email that I hadn't ordered from them in a really long time so they sent me a $10 off coupon off a purchase of $50 or more and I always have to take advantage of those and it came at a good time because I actually ran out of my conditioner so I picked this one up um, I was using the living proof the no frizz one um, this is the living proof perfect hair day conditioner I have a big like um, bottle of the no frizz shampoo with the pump it's not like the full liter but it's one of the big ones that also sells um, and I go through shampoo a lot faster than I do conditioner, um, so I only had like um, an 8 ounce bottle of the uh, No Frizz conditioner, but I ran out of it, so I purchased this one because I would gotten a sample of the Perfect Hair Day um, shampoo and conditioner, and I did like it. I mean, honestly, I can't really tell the difference between the two, but I decided to go with this one just to try it out. Um, so that was the first thing I got at Ulta. And then I had been hearing so, so many good reviews on this foundation. Excuse me one second. I'm sorry, I had to sneeze. But um, the foundation that I ended up picking up was from Clinique. This is their Beyond Perfecting um, Foundation Plus Concealer. And I had been hearing so many good reviews about this foundation. But the one that kind of put me over the edge was Candy Johnson. I had heard her talking about it in a few other videos. But I wasn't really interested in getting a new foundation at the time. Like, I had a few that I really liked already. And then um, I saw her review on it. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get it. She talks about it giving you like perfect like doll skin and I was like that's what I want I like coverage and I like like flawless looking skin um so I decided to give it a try so I went to Ulta to get color matched I was going to order this stuff online um but honestly the way that they had set up their colors online kind of confused me um I'm used to like picking from a range from like light to dark and then figuring out like which shade I would be. I'm usually pretty good at like matching myself um, like even through online but this one confused me I think because they like broke it down into different color categories and I wasn't sure but whoop I just smacked myself in the face with the bottle um, so I don't really know what I was talking about before but I when it comes to picking a foundation I normally go with like a neutral undertone I am pretty neutral but I can go like both ways I can go more cool or warm and that's probably because it is neutral um, but I prefer to be like right in the middle um, so she color matched me and she chose um, and I chose I guess she kind of looked she's like which one do you like better and I was like I like this one she's like me too so we're like number four cream whip and I feel like it was a pretty good match and I know on their website it says that when you first apply this um, there's a lot of pigment in the foundation that it might look a little bit dark but as you blend it out it kind of um, lightens a little bit and I did find that to be kind of true because this I ended up choosing over a lighter shade that she had swatched on my face um, and I went with this one because yeah as I applied it I felt like it did kind of match my skin a little bit better so I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I do like it let me know if you guys want to see a review or if you want to see a review on any of the products I shared um, today um, I know like I said there's already tons of reviews on this but in case you want another opinion let me know so that's all I got from Ulta and then I placed an order with MAC. I actually ran out of my concealer and I was going a few days without it using some other stuff that I used to like and I realized I really miss this concealer which means it's definitely like one of my favorites if not my favorite concealer at the moment. Um, and I would actually repurchased it but then the one that I had gotten had, it, it smelled weird to me like it smelled kind of sour and I was like Maybe I'm just being like super sensitive, but I was like, I don't remember it smelling like this. So I ended up sending it back and then I was going to order another one and good timing. Max sent me an email that they were doing a $10 off of 50 promotion, which I remember when Mac did no coupons, no promotions, no sales ever. So I'm glad that they're like coming around and they're doing um, that stuff now. And it's actually going on again. They extended the sale. So if you guys are interested, you can save $10 off a purchase of $50 or more with the code Mac10, I think. And that's until 
Tuesday, May 17th. So if you guys are interested. But yeah, so I was like, well, I'm going to get a concealer anyway. And it's $21. I was like, I just have to spend like $30 more and then I can get $10 off, which is always how I justify it. And like I said, they don't do like sales and promotions all the time. So I decided to take advantage of it. But the concealer that I picked up again was my Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. I love this stuff. I... I just love it. The coverage I think is fantastic, but I also love like the finish um, as it's like kind of set on your skin. It just gives you a really smooth, flawless appearance and yeah, I love it. It stays put all day. I think it is fantastic. So I bought another one and then I decided to pick up a few of their uh, Pro Pan Refill eyeshadows. Um, again, another thing I love is that they actually decrease the price of these. I think it used to be ten dollars i want to say now they are six dollars which i think is fantastic i think the fact that there's so many like new brands coming out even a lot of like indie brands that are doing really well i think mac needs to like keep up with that and so they're kind of like you know having promotions and decreasing their prices which i think is fantastic so these were six dollars a piece and these are just the the pans um you do have to put them in a palette. Speaking of palette, I was going to get one of the new MAC palettes. I have like an old one from like years ago, but they've recently like updated it. But I was reading a lot of mixed reviews on there saying that, you know, it wasn't a very good palette. The eyeshadows don't stay put. Let me know your thoughts if you have the new palettes and the new like inserts, if you think it's worth it or if I should just like go and get um, another Z palette. I would like to get the MAC palette because it is cheaper. Like I said, they decreased the price. I remember when I bought my palette, it was $15. Now I believe they're $8 and then $2 if you want to add an insert. So um, let me know what you guys think about the, the new MAC palettes. Um, anyway, so I bought six eyeshadows. Just kidding, I bought four. No, I ordered five. One of them was back ordered, so that's going to be shipping separately. That was charcoal brown. And then I ordered four others. And these are kind of like, I find to be people's favorites, but I didn't have it already. Like, these are the ones that people talk about all the time that they really, really like. Um, and I felt like, you know what, I think I need to try it out and see what all the hype is about. So I picked up a few. Um, the first one is Satin Taupe and it's it's a really pretty color looking at all of these in person i'm like i see why people like it and I, i'm like i don't know why i didn't have it already i feel like these are colors i normally would gravitate towards but yeah this one is satin taupe and i actually haven't even swatched these yet this one's a really pretty kind of like cool tone like silvery taupey color with like a hint of purple it's really pretty this is a i wish they put the finishes on here but i don't see the finish but i want to say it's a a satin I think it's so pretty I really like this a lot I feel like this is going to be a great everyday shade the next one I have here is all that glitters again another cult favorite I feel like it's really pretty it's kind of like a champagne -y, like peachy pink color let's give it a swatch this one's really soft feeling yeah and that's really pretty as well oh, they look really nice together I really like it because the all that glitters kind of brings out the warmth in the satin taupe shade because satin taupe I feel like is very cool on its own but swatched next to the all that glitters it kind of warms it up a little bit it's really pretty and next we have woodwinked this one I'm just like yeah definitely I like that it looks really pretty in the pan I'm sure it's going to swatch really nicely as well and it does I love that this one has that like metallicness to it as well and again, this one swatched next to the other two is so pretty. Like I can feel, I feel like this would make a really pretty like trio. So there is Woodwinked on top, all that glitters and satin taupe. And the last one I have here is a matte shadow, and this one is Omega. And it looks kind of boring in the pan, but I feel like this is one of those shades that are going to be like really good as like a transition shade, or just like if you want just a really minimal eye look, like this would be a really good one. And like I said, this one is matte. It's kind of like a grayish, like brown color. So there is Omega up there. And I feel like all these shades actually go really nicely together. So yeah, I can't wait to play with all of these new eyeshadows. Um, let me know if you guys have any favorite MAC eyeshadows that you think I should check out. I do have a couple of others that are kind of like on my wish list. So hopefully they'll do another promotion soon and I can pick those up then. Um, and then another thing I love about ordering MAC online is that you can actually choose a sample. And they have a few that you can choose from. They have a few mascaras there. They have like um, their cleanse off oil 
oil and makeup remover. Um, the one that I ended up getting was the Prep and Prime, the skin base. And this is the one I got, like, my last two orders. I've tried their strobe cream too, and I'm, I'm not, like, super excited about it. And not that I, like, love this or anything, but out of all the samples, I feel like it's the one that I would use the most. So I have several of these little tubes of, um face primer now so it's actually not a bad primer I just I I don't know if I would go out and buy a full size of it all right so that was all that I got from Mac moving on to Tarte um, a couple of weeks ago they were running a promotion I think it was geared towards Mother's Day but it was a build your own set and I was looking at the products that were included and I was like wow that's really cool there were a couple things on there that I wanted to try so I was like you know I'm gonna take advantage of it I think it was like $60 for like seven or six pieces. I can't remember how many pieces were in the set. But what was cool is that each category had like four choices and you could choose what item you wanted from each category and then they had a selection of different shades as well. So I thought that was a really great deal added up. It was like a huge value. So I decided to take advantage of it. Um, the first category was a makeup bag. So um, you could choose between the purple. I think there was a pink and a blue maybe. So this is the one that I ended up choosing and I honestly don't need any more makeup bags but this was surprisingly a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I ended up with the like light kind of lilac -y purple bag and I feel like this is actually really cute. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. The inside lining is really pretty as well. Like I said it's a pretty good size so I might actually end up keeping it and actually using this so I think that's really cute. The next category was foundation and again each category had I think about like four different choices and the one that I ended up choosing was the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation and this came out a couple of years ago and I remember when it came out I really wanted to try it but like I said I, I probably at that time I had a bunch of other foundations I was using and I didn't need another one um, but I actually I am almost out of the current powder foundation that I'm using so I saw this and I was like now would be a great time to try it. Um, and it looks like this it comes in like in a jar it is a loose powder but there is like a little mesh kind of like sifter on top so it kind of keeps the product in place which is nice and the shade that I ended up choosing was light medium or sorry light neutral and it says that it's for light skin with yellow and pink undertones and I feel like it matches me pretty well I've used it once as a setting powder I haven't used it like as an all over foundation just yet but you know rolling into summer and I do have pretty oily skin so I thought a nice kind of full coverage powder foundation would be a good alternative and then for the like lip category I chose this was like a no-brainer this is one of the things I was like you know what I've been wanting another one of those for a really long time might as well get it with this set and get to try a bunch of other products so I chose the Amazonian butter lipstick in my favorite shade plummy rose and I wear this shade all the time and this is the old one that I have this is the old packaging this is the new one it's a lot brighter it's still in that like cardboard packaging which I'm not a huge fan of but um, it's okay but yeah so I ended up getting a new one in the same shade because the one that I have currently is like almost out you can see there actually now that I'm looking at it yeah for a second I was like they look really different but I think it's just on the camera because in person they look pretty similar I'd be kind of bummed if they were different because I like absolutely love this and they changed the packaging but I hope that the formula hasn't changed because this is a lipstick I feel like I can just throw on um, usually with lipsticks I have to put a lip balm on because my lips get really chapped but with this the formula of this is actually really nice very moisturizing this almost goes on like a balm but it has like that kind of my lips but better shade to it I really like this a lot actually I'm gonna swatch this and see how similar these two actually are because it has been a while like the one that I have I got a few years ago and then this one is the new one and like I said the packaging is different so hopefully they are still the same you know what they're kind of different they're like slightly different this one I feel like this is the new one the one on top the one on the bottom is the old one um, I feel like they're very very similar but I feel like this one on top is a little bit more of a plummy color which is not a bad thing I think that it's still really pretty the formula still seems to be the same they're both equally like um, like balmy looking which is good so um, yeah I'm still excited about it it's not a hundred percent the same the other one looks a little bit more of like a nude um, so we'll have to see how this one holds up against that one but either way it's a really pretty color so I'm not like super bummed about that 
Um, the next product I ended up getting was a blush and again there were four different choices I think you could have gotten like their cream blush um, this is the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush which I have like a handful of these already and I really like them so I decided to pick one of these and the shade that I chose was blushing bride and I have been eyeing the shade for a while now I feel like I don't have a blush quite this color so I was like yay now I get to add to my collection because I was like no no more like blushes you don't need any more but with this set you have to pick a blush so might as well get one that I kind of been looking at for a while so yeah this is the one that I got let's give it a swatch this one is a matte it's really pretty it's actually a lot darker than I thought it would be it's kind of like a plummy like pink color but it swatches nicely I'm gonna do more of like a heavy swatch just so you guys can see but yeah I really like this a lot it's a really pretty color I, I love the Amazonian clay blushes really pigmented a little bit goes a really long way so I'm excited to have another one to add to my growing collection and then I got to choose a mascara and of course I chose the only waterproof option that they had which was the lights camera splashes mascara this is the waterproof version of the lights camera lashes um, same packaging I think um, but yeah I decided to give this one a try because well it's waterproof um, but I've also gotten samples of the original version and I haven't really been able to enjoy it just because it, it wasn't waterproof um, so I'm hoping fingers crossed that my lashes like this waterproof formula and that it doesn't make them droop so yeah so that was the mascara that I chose and then you got to choose an eyeliner and the one that I chose was the lights camera lashes precision longwear eyeliner and this one only came in brown but I was like you know what you know, brown's a nice everyday color. I normally always go for black, but if it's a dark brown, I think I can work with it as well. And I love liquid um, eyeliner pens. This one happens to be a felt tip. I prefer brush tip, but I decided to give this one a try anyway. Like I said, it is the brown shade, but it's actually quite dark. And um, the applicator, there it is up there. The applicator of this actually doesn't feel very scratchy for a felt tip. I haven't used it on my eyes yet, so I hope that it goes on really smoothly as the the swatch did on my hand because it is very very dark which i do like so yeah it doesn't even look that brown to me so i think it'll be a good alternative to black and then the final product was a brush and the one that i ended up choosing was the swirl power cheek brush and um, it looks like this it's a pretty big one and the handle I, I mean honestly is kind of like awkward to hold it's so big and so like wide um, so that's kind of weird but I'm sure it'll be fine but it looks like this it's a very wide brush but it's pretty skinny so you can use it it needs to be washed you can see it kind of got dented um, in the box but it's just a like a kind of a flatter thick brush and this is supposed to be good for like contour you can use it all obviously like as an all over face brush but I think the shape of it I think was intended to be for contouring I'm not sure but it is synthetic it is very soft and very fluffy um so that's gonna be nice I have a couple of other tart brushes and they're pretty good um it seems to be pretty sturdy as well again I just think the handle is just a bit awkward and the last thing I have is just the sample that I ended up choosing um anytime you place an order you can choose a sample so I chose the foundation like blister pack this is their new empowered hybrid gel foundation it comes in four different shades just for you to try out and I'm glad that light neutral is on there because that's probably the one that I would have chosen for myself um, so we have light neutral light medium honey which seems like a pretty good one too um, then medium neutral and then um, tan sand so that was my collective haul for the month of May. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the products that I shared in this video and what your thoughts are. Let me know also if you guys want reviews on anything that I shared as well. Thank you again so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And if you do want to take advantage of the MAC $10 off coupon, um, like I said, I believe it goes until May 17th, um, which depending on when this video goes up might be today. Um, but yeah, it's $10 off. Off, uh, $50 or more and the code I believe is MAC10 but I'll post I'll post that information down in the description box below for you guys to take advantage of so yeah thank you again so much for watching I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you guys next time bye